Okay. Wow. I've been asked to do a recap of The Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, and Matrix Revolutions. So I'm looking at the camera to say what the trilogy is about. Oh my god! Wow. I... Oh, I don't know, man. It's a complicated world. Here we go. Okay, great. So The Matrix is about a guy. Tall guy. Black jacket. Sunglasses. Well, I remember Trinity in the air, slow motion, kicking the cops. <laughs> which I'd never seen before. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's hard to remember details. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay. So there's this guy. Hello, Neo. Wake up. Thomas Anderson. But he's not really Thomas Anderson. He's actually Neo. He's kind of a hacker dude. Regular guy, working a Monday in life. Thomas Anderson? Yeah, that's me. But when he's hacking, he's on this chat forum and he meets this girl, and that's Trinity. And she tells him to meet him at this club. He has to follow the white rabbit. And so he goes to a club, of course, and he meets that, there she is, there's, there's Trinity. Hello, Neo. And he meets these, this guy named Morpheus. At last. I remember Morpheus's head shave, the glasses. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. And they say the world is actually a whole lot different than you know it. Morpheus gives him the choice. Does he want to know the truth or not know the truth? And he, and those are in the form of pills. You either gonna take that blue pill or you gonna take the red. And he takes, he chooses the red pill, he wants to know the truth. And he takes the pill. Buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. And then Silver goes off his arm. Welcome to the real. So there's the real world. Why was I? OK, um. He finds out that we are all part of a computer simulation of a machine world that is somehow harvesting human beings for literally batteries to keep their world that is now post-apocalyptic in operation. People are plugged into this world. Morpheus tells him, Zion needs hope. They think he's a man that's going to change everything. Whoa. Then they go to the Oracle. Not quite what you were expecting. So the Oracle has these kids, right? And she's teaching them to bend spoons with their mind because the spoon is not real. It was actually pretty cool. There's a really cool shot with the spoon, I remember. And then you start to question what's real, what's not. Deja vu. And there's a guy named Agent Smith. Mr. Anderson. The machine world has a controlling program called an agent that somehow keeps the reality and the simulation in line. He was so good, but so bad. He's unstoppable. Human beings are a disease. And we are the cure. The slow mo dance, and bullet time. And then, of course, what the movie is really about is love. Continuing down like the corridor of realizing who, who you are and like fate and destiny. And then Neo dies. At the end of the first movie, he's finding that perhaps more important than his personal destiny is this love that he feels for Trinity. And she saves his life with her love. And that's the end of the first movie. And then there's a sequel, Matrix 2. Number two, what would be the best way to explain it? So reloaded, Neo and Trinity. There's still the pressure on the one. Um, so there's a lot of Smiths. There's a huge orgy. He flies. Banging the door, coming in, seeing Keanu, him going, hmm, upgrades. Only human. Oh. And there's a French guy. I lost my wife, the beautiful Persephone. Yeah, 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 yeah. The key maker. These guys that have long dreadlocks. Oh, and then there's like the greatest car chase in film history. Morpheus on top of the truck. I have to get the key maker. I always loved when Neo puts his hand out. 
and the bullets all just fall to the ground. I love that shit so much. Oh, oh, oh. It turns out that there's an architect. Ergo. And he's created this whole matrix. Bullshit. Bullshit. The machine world comes to find Zion. And then this happened, and then this happened. It's mankind's last hope. Oh, God. So in the, in, in the world of Zion, there's all these people that are outside of the matrix. Somewhere in the middle of all this, he needs Trinity. Someone that he believes in and she believes in him to be the savior of all humankind. But that none of that actually really matters at the end of the day. What matters is the love. And then in the end, Trinity dies. And then Neo, he is the one. Oh! <laughs> oh my. Okay, didn't see that coming. Yes! And then the third one, like maybe finally realizing who you are as the one or as the one. The last vestige of humankind against the machine world. And what is our savior versus belief, self-belief? Three is more of the same with a lot of the programs, a lot of kung fu. Machines, guns, war. I have a lot of guys who shoot a lot of guns. Oh, that's so cool. Final bouts, sacrifice. <laughs> Ah, oh, the Merovingian. I was waiting like a very hungry spider with one desire, the eyes of the Oracle. And then, oh my god, see, this is where it gets really complicated. The dark is breached! But then the machines have found where they all are, where humanity is. The Sentinels, they're a big part. They're in there. That's just, you know, they're just like... And then a big war happens. Very end of the whole story, they end up flying in the in this ship into the machine city. Neo has to like save humanity. Mr. Anderson, welcome back. Neo fights Agent Smith. Agent Smith gets lost into the Matrix. The Smiths get destroyed because Neo and Smith, the dark and the light, coming together because we all have both and not seeing them as enemies. Which then ultimately makes the dark side go away. And Trinity kind of sacrifices her life for her love. Neo sacrifices his life for the good of the world. And then Neo dies with Trinity. And they love each other, and it's really sad. You're not sure what happened, did they die? Is it over? Or like, did he completely like save the world? The Oracle, Sati, and the Architect walk off into the sunset. Look, look! At the end of the day, Matrix 1, 2, and 3 is a love story that progresses through time. What is our savior versus belief, self-belief, identity, non-identity, reality, non-reality coexistence and existential realism of who we are as a people and who we are as an individual thrust upon us through the machine world and the battle for survival. The entire trilogy leaves you with all these questions. That what is real? What is reality? Why am I here? Are we in control of ourselves? Who the f am I? Conformity. Why, Mr. Anders? Because I choose to. There's something else that pops. This is my really cool mind trip. That's what the Matrix is about. No one can be told what the Matrix is. It's deep. Yeah, there's so many things. I've lost my train of thought. I think you're going to have to just watch the films. I hope you enjoy it.